This video is brought to you by Sasoy. Sasoy, the innovators of spike boarding, stand up spike, and the creators of the original skateboard spike. Sasoy, become the motor. Have a look at the Sasoy skateboard spike, spike on one end, foam on the other. Spike fits perfectly when you stand on the board and it reaches your nose. Welcome to Mount Tabor. Here we are at the base of the climb and we're going to climb this in about eight and a half minutes total in stand-up spike. The feet will never touch the ground. The stroke of stand-up spike is symmetrical. You will switch front side to front side as you climb. The skateboard spike needs to be held perfectly parallel to the board. The more out of parallel it is, the more power you will lose. So the idea is to keep the shaft perfectly parallel at all times with the board below. To do that, you need to keep the top handle slightly off the front of your shoulder. You need to rotate your hip and your shoulder over and then begin your power phase. The stroke of stand-up spike can be separated into three parts. The first part being the injection. You are going to lift skyward the foam handle with the trailing skateboard spike behind at a 45 degree angle. Notice how the shaft is being taken forward so that it remains in a 45 degree angle. Don't bring the shaft forward with the point aiming down. If you do that, then you will be basically forward catching. Forward catching is not what you want to do in stand-up spike. So once we've taken the shaft straight skyward with the leading edge of the foam, always forward of the shaft, the shaft at 45 degrees, we begin to inject it into the pavement. Once you make the injection and the injection is solid, there begins the second phase of the stroke, the power phase. Your arms will be at a 90 degree angle once the power phase begins and they lock simultaneously and you begin to engage core. Uphill stand-up spike does require the back and parts of the arms as well, but you are wanting to engage the core as much as possible. That's the largest muscle group in your body and that is what's going to power you up these stand-up spike climbs. Again, the placement of the injection needs to be approximately at the rear foot or behind the rear foot. You will never be forward catching. You cannot forward catch on pavement to any good effect. Your cadence will be somewhere between 3, 5, up to 30 depending on how fit you are. You'll be able to maintain cadence on one constant side before you switch. Before the switch, you want to give one last little honey spike, a little bit of extra power on that last spike before you switch, which gives you a little bit more momentum so that you can come around on your switch side. Another thing to consider is this technical pavement that you're seeing. It's very unnerving in the beginning. If you don't have glassy pavement on your climbs, it's probably not a good beginner climb. The turbulence that's caused by uneven pavement will telegraph up through your body and disturb a clean stroke. So it's a good and a bad thing. The good thing is that the more challenging the pavement, the better spike border you're going to become. And the glassier it is, uh, the more fun you're going to have, that's for sure. Notice as well that there's not much standing up on the heel, nor are, um, or rather, I mean, up on the toes, and the heels aren't coming up because the pavement is simply too technical. If it was glassy pavement, 
and you might see toward the top a little bit when it flattens out and there's a little more speed that the heels will begin to come up as you just see right there and then the body is able to come that much more forward so it can fall with that much more power upon the skateboard spike and transfer it as you see here we're coming up towards the middle section of Mount Tabor and it's flattening out a little bit we're gaining a little more speed the pavement has gotten a little less technical and we're able to actually whoop there's a nice little divot right there slowed us up and our driver didn't feel that bump as much as we did so they sped up a little bit we're catching up with them now and you'll see a little bit of a heel rise uh, but not much because this pavement is a little technical but please keep in mind the parallel nature of the board and the skateboard spike there's absolutely no reason to ever feather a switch cadence or a return the last part of the stroke is the return and the return is always parallel to the board you'll notice that the spike simply moves as if it were a railroad arm on an old freight train it's just going forward and backward forward and backward forward and backward here you'll see that the foam handle is passing the quadricep on flats and on low risers the stroke extends past the quadricep about an inch an inch and a half and on climbs the foam handle stops more or less at the quadricep for the return so you can tell right here we begin to big, pick up some good speed and uh, the terrain is flat enough so that we can get a slight heel rise and go up on the toes and gain that much more speed um, we're into about uh, the seventh coming up on the eighth minute of this climb Mount Tabor um, will do a 180 degree chicane turn and then there'll be a gate and on this particular day we weren't able to take that 180 turn and summit um, we had uh, two days prior to that so soy uh, the company that innovated spike boarding and stand-up spike has a challenge for stand-up anywhere in the, in the United States pardon me and um, well there's a king of mountain and a queen of mountain challenge and anybody wanting to step up to that title just simply needs to be the fastest stand-up athlete up a significant climb similar to Mount Tabor and a thousand bucks and a king of mountain queen of mountain title is all yours please contact us through sasoy.com s-u-s-o-i-x dot c-o-m and we can fill you in more or please call us directly with the number you see below and we can set up that challenge for you and also help you out with the purchase of a skateboard spike and a spike board and help you out with gear soon we will have more tutorials and thanks for watching Sasoy become the motor